everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Tamika this is library of Tom's where I talk to you about all the bookish things going on in my life and today I am going to be sharing with you all some resources for listening to audiobooks for cheap or for free so I started the series last year actually and I never really continued on with the series where I'm recommending audiobooks places to start for newbies and just all the things you need to know if you are interested in audiobooks and this is a question I get often is how do you listen to so many audiobooks they're so so expensive and like what how do you listen to so many and you know where do you find them for cheap or for free and I wanted to make a dedicated video just to kind of go over the commonly things the things that I commonly am seeing and like the experiences that I've had because as you all know 99% of my reading is through audiobooks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the first part of this out of the way and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the one thing that is not free but is relatively cheap um, and actually is free for the first two months. So I know you all know that I use Scribd. I do have a Scribd link down in the description and if you use my Scribd link, you do get two months for free. So you'll get 60 days of Scribd listening for free. Um, and if you do use my link, I get a month for free. So that is technically how I listen to some audiobooks for free is because I do have that code and you all do use it and sign up for it. So uh, if you all want to use it and try Scribd to see if you like it, to see if it's worth the money for you, then um, you can check that out down in my description. I'll link it down there for you all. It's always down there. Um, so you would get 60 days for free on Scribd. This service is one of my favorites. I really do love Scribd a lot. Uh, Scribd in particular has a lot of newer releases, things like that. You can listen, there's a lot, a lot less like indie romances on there. There are some on there. I'm not gonna say there's not. I do have an entire video of dark romances on Scribd. Uh, I need to like kind of circle back and do another recommendation video um, specifically for books on Scribd because there are so many and uh, I'm constantly looking for new books to read on Scribd. Um, but there are a lot of good ones on here and I would roughly recommend if you like re listening to audiobooks, especially like newer releases, then to check this out because this is a better service than going to Audible and getting a new release because it is much cheaper in the long run. I mean, it says it's unlimited, but it's it's not necessarily unlimited. You There is a cap at some point. We don't really know what the actual cap is, um, but when you're listening to like newer stuff, it does tend to cut you off a little faster. But if you are interested in Scribd, like I said, you can get it for 60 days for free. So it is not technically for free because after 60 days, you do start paying for it, but it is also free for 60 days. So if you want to try it, see if you like it, get a free trial, I do recommend that. And um, that is the first place I'm going to tell you to start after these other resources if you are already using them and you want something else. Okay, so the way that I'm able to listen to so many audiobooks because of the ones that I get, I'm going to talk about the free resources really quickly. So obviously we have Libby, which is through your local library. Again, Libby is not 100% for free for me because though I do have my own local library card, I use my own card to check out books from the Kentucky library system. I also have a Brooklyn library card, which I pay $50 a year for. Um, and that allows me to have access quicker to more popular titles and also just gives me a greater access in general to audiobooks so it's not technically free for me because I do use an out of li out of state library card which like I said I do that because I do listen to so many audiobooks I do have the extra money to spend on this kind of thing so I do take advantage of that and that's also how I read a lot of my manga so yeah I do use the Brooklyn library card which gives me a lot more access and quicker access to library card or to books uh, but your local library will also have a ton of free options if you just want to use your local library and sign up to get them through Libby or um, the other one. I can't remember. Overdrive. I use Libby. It's my favorite. I prefer the system, the interface and everything. I just think it looks way, way better. Uh, but there are so many books that you can check out through Libby. Um, these have, it's typically traditionally published books. So trad books are on here and things like that. So if you are mostly an indie reader, this one is going to not necessarily be a miss for you but this one will not be as popular as another one of the resources I'm going to tell you about but this one does have a lot of trad romances so if you want to listen to trad stuff if you want to listen to more traditionally published um like thrillers horror anything like that this is where you're going to go to get your traditionally published books um you can get them on the other resources too but this is where I would recommend you go for more traditional uh books rather than getting the indies so then we also have Spotify, which is a good place for both. This has um, 
both indie and traditionally published books. I know Neon Gods is actually on there from Katie Robert. Katie Robert did a TikTok where she talked about that her publisher and Spotify do have a deal. So they are being, she is being paid if you listen to the um, book on audio on Spotify. Um, and on Spotify, they, you cannot speed it up. So it's like a music, like, so it's like music. You can't speed it up like you can a podcast. So that is the downfall of using Spotify, even though Spotify is free to use and you don't have to pay for the books. If you don't have an issue with speeding things up and you're okay with listening at one time speed, go to, uh, go to Spotify, you'll be able to find a ton. Candy Fox is on there, Katie Robert is on there. Um, there are several indie authors on there and I know that Katie Robert is, that book in particular is trad published, so it is both sides. So you can get trad and indie. Okay, so the last resource that I wanna share with you all is my favorite resource and this is where I listen to 99% of my audiobooks. And I am very, very lucky that my Hoopla actually gives me 15 credits every single month. Um, I get 15 credits, obviously, to listen to whatever I want, listen or read, so I borrow 15 titles every single month. Hoopla is the best option, in my opinion, if you have access to it. I know some people only have access to like six titles or they don't have access to it at all. I do have several library cards because I've lived up and down the east side of Kentucky, as everyone knows, uh, so I do have at least one library card that has access to Hoopla, and I am able to use that to my advantage. So I know outside of the US that this can be adjusted and changed, and like not everyone has access to Hoopla, so if you do have access to Hoopla, this is what I recommend you use um, to get uh, the most bang for your buck when it comes to your audiobook listening. Um, this one in particular, um, I listen to mostly indie and mostly indie romances. This is where I'm able to listen to a lot of the indies. This is where I was able to listen to Witching Moons and other books that are available on Kindle Unlimited. Um, this is this is kind of the resource that I use for that. Um, this is really good for both trad and indie because it has a mix of both. Um, there is not a wait list on the books that you borrow because you have your instant borrows. There is a flex um, borrows system. So they added an extra system of more borrows that you can get every single month. Those do have a wait list. So it's not like your normal borrows on Hoopla, but this is where I get most of my audiobook listening done. Um, it is really, really great because it gives you so many options. And I will add a little secret that Izzy gave me this tip and there is a browser extension um, that allows you to see where the book is on Audible or on ebook so that you're not spending so much money on your books. Uh, you just go to like the Amazon page and I will like tell you what it is like in a second. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. But it is an extension that allows you to see if the books are available on the other services. Obviously I have my libraries in there and then Scribd and my Hoopla. And so it tells you if there is an audiobook available uh, for that book on the other services before you buy it through like Audible or through Libro FM. So those are all the tips that I have for you. Obviously there's also the tip that if you want a free audiobook, do go to um, Audible or Libro FM and like sign up for a free trial and you can get like a free credit. Um, but that is mostly my recommendations. That's how I listen to so many audiobooks. That's how I get them for cheap or mostly free. There's also, if you would like to do this, this is something I do as well, is I will check books out through um, KU and then if you have that service and then you're able to buy them for much cheaper if you already have it through WhisperSync, which I have done that before. I bought Punk 57 for $1.99 because I had the ebook. Uh, checked out from KU and I was able to get it for $1.99. You can also go through and check WhisperSync to make sure that the books you're checking out, if they have an audiobook option, that you can get it for cheaper than the actual list price or a credit price. So those are all my tips for listening to audiobooks for either free or super, super cheap. So if you have any specific questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, I'm pretty sure I covered almost everything in this video, but if I didn't, I will answer it in the comments. And if you are still here, leave me a rose emoji down in the comments and I'll chat with y'all in my next video. Bye everyone.